Hello, my name is Dave Rett, and um, I've been doing these YouTube videos. Uh, they're kind of fun, uh, trying to get some uh, hopefully helpful information out to uh, anyone who's interested. Uh, today I want to show you something that I came up with, uh, must have been shoot, 12 years ago or so, 10 or 12 years ago, and it's called um, the Rat Sniffer. It's basically a XLR tube with three red-green LEDs at the end and it mates with this uh, rat sender um, it's a little switch on it and together they form a cable tester uh, turn it on, green light three LEDs light up the way I came up with this was um, on Rage Against the Machine tour I was doing front of house and uh, we were on a very tight schedule set change and uh, the lead vocal mic doesn't work. I don't have any lead vocal. And I'm trying to line check the other inputs. I've got someone hitting the drums. I call back to Clearcom and uh, nobody's picking up. I finally um, getting frustrated out front. I, um, I actually carry a Y cord with me in front of house and uh, patched my talk back mic into the kick drum channel, put a Y out, um, and talk backwards down the snake and said, you know, pick up Clearcom. So I pick up Clearcom and tell my vocal mic doesn't work. Well, now I'm trying to line check, and they're swapping stuff uh, on stage. They're changing out the vocal mic, and they're calling me back. Does this work? And they change out the vocal mic cord. Does this work? And uh, we're getting closer and closer to showtime, and uh, I'm trying to check the other inputs. I'm getting more and more frustrated. Uh, finally, it turns out it's a bad patch in the snake, and uh, they end up getting a new channel, and it pushes us over and we start late. It's just a frustrating. So I'm sitting on the bus after the gig, I'm thinking what what would solve that problem? What could what tool or what uh, uh, what can I have that would uh, make that process easier? And uh, I said what about if I had something where if I just could say I could hit phantom power on the lead vocal mic and they could go over to the snake and just plug something in until they find the line. Or unplug the lead vocal mic, I could send phantom power out to it, and um, when they've got the right line, it'll light up. Or if they do have the right line, then it will light up. Um, so I came up with this um, little tester, and what happens is this thing not only works with the sender, but um, it works on phantom power as well. So you can turn on, you can take a 56 channel snake system, or however many you want, go along the board, turn phantom power on every channel, and just go well, put good, 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 bad, put tape on it, and go through and check an entire snake system, um, you know, 50 plus channels in less than a minute, um, and just go around all the boxes. With, uh, if phantom power will pass, this thing will light up. Now, if there's transformers involved, uh, this will detect the transformer and look at that as a fault, but you will get an indication that phantom power is present, uh, depending on the transformers, you might not get an all green, but you're able to at least test the uh, fact that phantom power is passing and the likelihood that they're good. Um, when using phantom power as a source, it te tests for every possible fault that could go wrong with the snake line um, and stop the mic from working. With the sniffer, it tests every fault. With the phantom power as a source, the one thing it can't test is whether pin 2 and 3 are reversed which means you have an out-of-polarity situation, but the mic will work. It'll just be out of polarity. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, this It powers up off of a little battery. It's a little 12-volt battery in the end here. Um, I don't know if you recognize it, but a lot of... if uh, you have one of those little buttons for your car alarm. This is uh, real common in those. You can get these at any Radio Shack or drugstore. They're not very expensive. And uh, if you put the battery in, uh, backwards, the everything will work perfect, but all reds and greens will be reversed. So instead of getting an all green for good, you get an all red for good. Um, and I don't have a setup here, but you can see if I make a bad connection, you get um, various combinations of off or uh, lights. Another interesting thing you can do here is uh, a condenser mic. If you're in a pinch, Let's hook up to the analyzer, check, 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 it doesn't work. But the sender is actually a phantom power source, a 12-volt phantom power source as well. So if we plug in 
the center and the Y chord, it actually can double as a, um, uh, if you're in a pinch, if you need another phantom power source, you're able to um, power up a 12 to 48 um, uh, condenser mic. Uh, unlike most testers, this is does not have like a PC board mount. We used to use these little uh, whirlwind testers, and we've used a few other ones where um, you know, you're going through and testing a bunch of cables, and then about halfway through you start to see faults, and you start marking cables bad, only to realize that um, the pressure of plugging cables in, and you know, you're trying to test if a cable's good, and you're bending the wire, and uh, trying to verify a problem that you've seen before, you might have with a cable, and sooner or later, um, um, quite a few of the testers out there will go bad in themselves. Um, but since this is actually a barrel tube and there's not like a circuit board here with the tabs to lift on the back side. Uh, the reliability this is uh, much higher and you can uh, really wrench these around. Um, if you turn the on off switch, if you leave it on or off, uh, it doesn't drain the battery. It'll um, only drain the battery if you have it plugged in and you'll see the light come on, but um, in which case you want to turn it off, a little hole here, put it on the keychain if you want. Alright, so that's it. It's uh, pretty simple and um, hopefully very useful. So then I took and uh, was able to apply the same theory to um, take that circuit and uh, create an NL4 sniffer and I have an NL8 sniffer design as well. Uh, here's the prototype of it. Uh, you can see it's tape marked. But it's got four LEDs in the end and uh, NL4 barrels. Uh, these are really nice uh, custom machined uh, aluminum and there's a battery here, you undo these two little screws and it takes the same battery as that one. And again, it allows you to test uh, NL4 cables uh, with the ends in separate places. What I'm really trying to do here is, um, little by little, it takes a lot of time, and I got, uh, but I'm trying to build the ultimate Soundman's toolbox uh, of all these little bits and pieces that are missing or and consolidate them all into one spot and have uh, a series of items that are extremely useful and then when you put them all together you're able to test every uh, uh, aspect of the system and so this is uh, another product in that series